Welcome to Wired to Hunt's Whitetail How-Tos, where we provide a step-by-step -step tutorial for one important deer hunting task. Right now I'm standing in front of a ladder stand. So I wanna talk through the pros and the cons of ladder stands. Is that kind of tree stand right for you? That's the question. The answer is probably gonna be different for a lot of different people. So let's first talk through the good things that these have to offer. Number one, they're pretty comfortable. In many cases, ladder stands can be a very comfortable option. I have not hunted ladder stands terribly often, but there was one that I got and I held on to it for a number of years and never put it up. And then finally I was like, you know, I, got, I just gotta get this out there in the woods. I hung it up and I ended up sitting it one day, not really expecting to love it. I realized how darn comfortable this thing was for an all day sit. There was lots of space to spread out. I could kick my legs out. I had space on the chair next to me. Coming from a world of hunting small portable stands all the time where you're quite constricted, this felt absolutely luxurious. I know a lot of people that do not feel safe and comfortable up in a small portable stand, but feel a whole lot more comfortable in this much more solid, wide space. You've got a larger foot space. Typically, you've got a larger seat. Sometimes it's padded, sometimes it's more of netting, but generally comfortable. There's railings on the sides of you typically, which again, makes you feel quite safe inside of this enclosure of sorts. For that reason, if you are gonna go into a tree stand with an older person who isn't comfortable with heights or with a child, they're really good for those types of things, especially since you can get double ladder stands, which are great to bring a kid up in there with you and feel pretty darn safe. Oftentimes these ladder stands will have gun rest railings where you can adjust them and set them where you want. So you've got a really great stable rest for firearm hunting. That's a big thing. So for all those reasons, ladder stands are pretty nice in certain situations, but there are downsides. Those downsides are why I don't use ladder stands personally a whole lot. Number one, they are a little bit of a challenge to put together. They just require a bunch of pieces all coming together. Then you have to stand this thing up. I've had a ladder stand fall on a buddy's head before while we were trying to put it up. You need some time and some energy to put these suckers up. They're big and bulky, no matter what model you get. They're certainly getting easier, but that's a consideration. They're not portable, right? It's not like taking a little seven pound portable stand with you and throw it on your back, climbing up into a tree and hanging it. You've got a big, heavy thing you need to take with you wherever you're gonna go and put it up. For that same reason, they're big, bulky nature. They do not blend into the surroundings nearly as well. It's a lot harder to be hidden in one of these versus in a little tree stand 30 feet up. Oftentimes these ladder stands stick out from the tree, they stand out, they don't typically get you as high into the tree, so you might be 15 feet or 20 feet off the ground and oftentimes you can't get these ladder stands into thick, nasty, limby trees, right? They need to be open on the front for them to get into that position. So you're not able to be surrounded by all the cover that you would want to stay hidden. So you're gonna be more likely to stand out. Another issue with ladder stands sometimes is the sound that they can introduce. When you're climbing up the ladder, there's lots of creaks and pops often. When you're standing up there, there's a whole lot of metal that can be creaking and grinding or that you might tap your bow against or your release against. Metal handles, metal seat, metal ladder, all these different things introduce the possibility for noise and they can actually introduce a false sense of safety. Some people find them so seemingly safe that some people don't wear their necessary safety harnesses and it ends up being dangerous. So you gotta make sure you still remember this is a tree stand, you're in an elevated position, and you need to follow all common sense safety protocols. Because these are relatively hard to tear down and move to a new location, a lot of people leave them up for years and years and years in the same location. They can maintain the appearance of being safe but actually different pieces and parts are falling apart, straps especially. I know a lot of people that have climbed into a ladder stand thinking everything's just fine and then have a strap pop. These things can grow into a tree after being up there for five years or 10 years, the tree will grow around it. It's amazing what nature can kind of reclaim. So you need to be very careful about that. And if you're not gonna move them down and check them often, that's a potential downside. This kind of situation where you've put in all that time and money to get the big old ladder stand up, you're kind of locked into that position. If I go and set this ladder stand up right here, I hunt it in the fall and I realize, oh crap, it's a pretty good area, but most of the deer are actually moving at 55 yards instead of the 25 yards I wanted them to be. 
it's a much bigger move to have to tear this whole thing down and move it. So you're gonna be tempted to just stick it out. You're gonna be tempted to say, well, I don't wanna go through all that rigmarole. I'm just gonna stick it out here because eventually they might come through. That's a recipe for a lot of close calls that never end with a dead deer. I would much rather be in a position where I can make that move, make the small micro adjustments to be in the right spot. And ladder stands sometimes will tempt you to not do that. For certain people, for certain situations, for certain places, ladder stands are amazing. For others, not so much. You need to take a look at what your situation is and what you're looking for in a hunt and in a tool and decide whether a ladder stand is right for you. If you want more information like this, be sure to tune into the Wired Hunt podcast or the Wired Hunt Foundation's mini series every week. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts.